Hey everybody, Rodney Smith here, along with Luke Smith, and we're going to unbox a box. That's what the box is for. Uh, but we also want to tell you just a couple quick things. Uh, first of all, if you were one of the uh, draw winners in the last little contest we had, uh, the fundraiser contest, I'm sending out the mail out for that this week. I was waiting to hear back from a couple people. I've heard back from everyone, so now those prizes will go out. Let me know when you get them. That way I know that you've received them. They haven't got lost in the mail. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that the fundraiser is going good. I really appreciate all the donations people have been giving to us. Um, we are almost at the $8,000 level. I think we're $5 away, something like that. And we're going to try to run a live game. I'm still planning to do Zombie Side. And so if you guys want to see that done, what I'll be doing is uh, teaching it very quickly and then playing it out and uh, trying to take as many moves from people who give them to us. So listen, if you haven't donated to our fundraiser and you'd like to, you can do it at the link uh, on the page here and in the description below. We certainly appreciate your support. So I'll get Luke now to start opening this box and I'll tell you a little bit about where it came from. This was a surprise to get this in the mail because this came from our friend uh, Lewis of World of Fantasy Games. You might recognize that name because we talked about him before. He's one of our retailer sponsors and I had a really nice chat with him over Skype. We got to geek out a little bit together, talk about games that we both enjoy and our, our gaming history a little bit. And uh, he said he might be sending along a Christmas package, but it's not Christmas, so this this was an early surprise, and I can't wait to see what he's put inside the box for us. And listen, let me just say this as well: if you uh, if you're looking for a retailer to uh, to buy games from, then consider checking out his website. Let him know if you order something that you heard about him from us, because he said he might even throw a free gift in for our Watch It Played viewers, which is pretty neat. Anyway, let's let's see what's Open. in the box. You've already been peeking, haven't you? Yeah. What did you see? Fluffies! Oh, wow. Okay, there's there's a few fluffies in different here. Different kind of fluffies. These are different kind of fluffies. These must be United Kingdom fluffies. And uh, a little note in here. It says, Hi, Rodney. A game my son and I enjoy a lot. So I hope that you and Luke, even the whole family, will do the same. You may want one or two friends to join you. It's not cooperative, but as you know, gaming is fun when shared with others. He's right. He knows our philosophy there. <laughs> he said he couldn't wait until... Christmas, have fun and let me know what you think. So that was very nice, Lewis. I really appreciate you putting that personal note in there. Let's uh, see what it is that you sent us. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is, a, this is an interesting game. This is one that I've been looking at for a while and have never had a chance to play. Let's see if I can get out here so you can actually see what it oh, is. Man. Oh. <laughs> it's an explosion of fluffies in here. And the game is Runebound. This is the second edition of Runebound. Some of you guys have probably heard of this game, maybe even some of you have played it. Let me uh, show you some of the contents of this game and tell you a little bit about it as you take a look. Runebound is a game for two to six players and it's an adventure fantasy game. So you'll be taking your hero, fighting monsters and gathering up gold and new equipment. And not only are you changing yourself throughout the course of the game, but my understanding is that the game world itself will be changing and evolving along with you. Even the rules themselves will change as the game goes on. And it's set up like an open world, so you can explore it how you want, and the world changes every time you play. So each time you play, the game experience should be different as well. And the game, of course, comes with lots of cards, lots of chits and tokens, and it was designed by Martin Wallace and Daryl Hardy. As always, it is incredibly nice to get these presents, these gifts, from our viewers and our friends who watch our show. Um, you know, one of the things about doing this series is that I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more money on games in order to be able to add to the collection. And uh, one of the things that reviewers often look for is free games from publishers. And I've been really fortunate because I really haven't had to push for that at all because I've had our viewers donating games that they enjoy and would like us to check out. And honestly, that's a lot more meaningful to me. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thanks for sending this game along. Thanks a lot, Lewis. Check out World of Fantasy Games if you get a chance and our other retailer sponsors. Until the next episode, though. Thanks for watching.